hello and welcome back and today I want to show you guys how to migrate data over from your Google Photos and Google Drive account and onto a TerraMaster NAS. Now this is a subject I have tackled on all the other NAS brands so far but the reason I'm looking at TerraMaster today is a number of you have gone for TerraMaster NAS because for the hardware you're actually getting a very good solution. The software has got better over the last few years but it's not quite up there with Synology and QNAP yet is it? But nevertheless it does still have a few tools up its sleeve for synchronizing and carrying data over one way or another from the uh, Google Photos and Google Drive collection. A number of you may be aware that as of June 2021, the um, amount of storage that you utilize for Google Photos will start to count towards your overall storage. For those, um, for those that have been utilizing Android devices for a long time, you may have heard that um, up until June, you can upload photos largely in an unlimited capacity to your Google Photos account and it won't increase your storage. But the storage will be absolutely fine and dandy and still be able to be used by the likes of Google Drive and other Google services. However, after June, every photo you upload will use some of that space. And that is why a number of you are migrating over from Google services and onto your own private NAS. So let's talk about the two ways in which you can carry that data over. We're utilizing the throwaway uh, NAS Compare Gmail account that we've been using before, and this account is what we're going to be synchronizing with this TerraMaster NAS. Now, you are going to need to download some apps on the TerraMaster first. And by some apps, I mean one app. And that is Google Drive Sync. You can find it in the application center, nice and simple. And it's one of the early ones. You can just go ahead, drop down the tab, go to uh, multimedia tools. And you can even find other tools in there as well for backing up and synchronization. You can go ahead, synchronize them all nice and easy and they'll all appear there. Now, the two methods we've got for transferring data over from these Google platforms, uh, we've got one that's a lot more all encompassing but requires a lot more human intervention. And we've got another one that's automatic but it does carry over things in bulk. So it depends if how precise you want to be. Let's go for the first one and that is Google Takeout. For those that aren't aware, Google Takeout is the kind of one portal access point where you can see all of the data that has been collected on you and uh, submitted by you to Google services from maps to fitness to news to website browsing to all the information in cookies. It's all stored here. But more precisely, we're looking at Google Photos and Google Drive. So go ahead and click deselect all because otherwise you're going to download everything and the file size is going to be enormous and scroll down to Google Photos right here. Go ahead and put a click next to that. And if you're choosing to download uh, your Google Drive or and or um, the Google Photos, you can go ahead, scroll up and find Drive. And from there, you can go ahead and put a click in that box if you choose. Me, I'm not going to download that today, but it is an option open to you. I'm going to show you another way to do that in just a while. Zoom out. And then after you've selected the one or more services from Google you want to download, scroll to the bottom and click Next. It's right there. Next, it will invite you to talk about the way you want to download. So first and foremost, you want to make sure this says Send Download Link via Email. Because depending on the size of the Google Photos collection you have, this can take minutes, hours, days, weeks of time. So instead of having to keep this page open, you can go ahead and just allow Google to send you the email in order to download all of your files. Next, how frequently do you wanna do this? Do you just wanna do it the once to transfer your data over, or do you want to do it multiple times on a frequency, such as in this case, every two months for one year, and it will send you the updated files each time. I'm gonna go ahead with one export just for this video. Bear in mind that you are going to be downloading a zip file. You aren't going to be downloading these files loose, so you will have to extract them. And also it will ask you how big do you want each zip block to be. Now you can go ahead and just have a huge downloaded 50 gig zip file if you choose. But some file systems have difficulty not only uh, actually, uh, um, actually holding large files but also a zip file it won't allow you to interact with it one of the most common examples fat32 will limit the average um, single file size so i reckon i recommend going for two gig blocks or for larger photo collections maybe go to four gig but i'm going to select two 
then click Create Export. It will then start compiling this information in the background on the Google servers and give you a download link to download all of that data from your Google Photos. Now, luckily for us, I've only got an, a single album on this Google Photos collection, hence why it's so fast. It's one album down there of 27 photos. If you've got a huge collection spanning years, this will take a great deal longer. But from here, go ahead and click download, or if it's taking longer, wait for the email from Google that you can go ahead and download your file of Google Photos and the other Google services you selected. Now, head over to your download um, folder, as I'm doing here, and in your downloads, you will find, let's find it there, a zipped up file here, uh, the compressed file that is your Google takeout folder. Now this will have all the data that you want to download, so just right click and you can extract all depending on your file system, it will differ slightly, or use WinRAR if you're an absolute hero to download it nice and quickly. Not download it, extract it even. The folder that gets produced is available to see there and then double click, double click takeout. The list of all the services that you chose will be selected here. I, of course, just did Google Photos, double click there. And there will be each of the individual photo albums. Now, in my case, I didn't create any independent folders or um, archives or any kind of portfolio. So what it's done is batch all of the photos in that album into each year they were taken based on the metadata and the upload. But if you've created preset albums, holiday, Christmas, birthday, etc., they will all be available here. Now, to transfer the files over, there's actually a few ways in which you can do it. You can create an iSCSI target. You can go into the TNAS app and go ahead and map a drive if you choose and transfer it over manually. But the least technical way to do it and the easiest way is just to go into File Manager, um, either view or create the album that you want to choose for your photos. In my case, I've already created an album called Photos here. Go into the album that you want to uh, transfer the files into. Once you've selected the folder that you want your photos from Google to go into, go ahead and click Upload. From Upload, then click Browse. And it will invite you to select the albums that you want to transfer over. Go ahead, Browse in, and find the albums. Then click Open and it will ask you to transfer those files over. So in my case, I'm going to open those and browse and select the other album. Now, it's not as smooth a run as we've seen from some of the other brands having automated uploads here, but this will transfer the files loosely into this collection. So it's advisable that perhaps you create individual files and albums there in the background to transfer them into. If you do want to create them, go ahead and click new and you can create a new folder or a new shared folder for sharing over the network and over the internet here. It's that straightforward. Now, these files here are known as the JSON files or JSON, and they're the ones that Google uses uh, for the background data for each of those images. Um, you don't have to copy them over, but they can be useful. TerraMaster doesn't really have much of a dedicated photo management tool um, in the same way other brands do. It is still a much more economical platform, it has to be said. But as you see, we've got the album there of that photo, and we can scroll along and look at other files and folders quite easily. You can go ahead and exit there, and you can even go ahead and get background property information on files and photos. But once again, not a vast array of information compared to the others, and you can even make it as wallpapers and more. So that is how you would transfer over the data from a Google Takeout. And again, this is what you, with TerraMaster not having a lot of the dedicated applications of Synology, QNAP, and Acer Store, it does seem a little bit caveman there. So what about if we try it in a far more automated, synchronized way? Let's go to the Google Drive Sync. Now from here, you're going to create an automated routine where the NAS is going to pull um, data from your Google Drive. So go ahead, give the task a name. I'm gonna leave it as Google Drive 1. It will then ask you to verify your identity and allow your permission to synchronize um, the TerraMaster NAS and your um, uh, Google Drive account. Click Allow to allow that to happen. It may ask you to verify. It will also um, say if you want the TerraMaster to be able to edit any of the files. 
um, I'm going to go ahead and click allow and this will allow a connection between the Terramaster NAS and your um, Google Drive account. Once it's connected, it will go through some of the options of what you want to do. So in this case, we're going to call this task one. We're not going to change it. The local directory is the directory on your NAS. So for this, we of course want to use the photo um, album selection here. We go in there, click confirm. And then on the cloud directory is when we want to select which folder on the Google Drive we want to select. It will take a little bit of time for it to sequence and index all the available folders on the Google Drive. And once it's done it, you can go ahead and select the album you want to carry over. In my case, I'm going to go with the Photos album. And we can select one of these folders or both of them if we choose. So rather than double click, I'm going to make my way back. I'm going to go ahead and just select Photos and then click Confirm. So we're going to be copying the data from the Photos album of my Google Drive and carrying them over to the Terramaster NAS. Next, we can say what kind of routing we want to run. Bidirectional means the two folders will be mirrored and any changes applied to one will be a change uh, applied to the other, so as files being uploaded and more. Download cloud changes only mean that the um, Google album or the Google folder there on my drive um, any changes made to that, any files that are added, will then be sent to the NAS. But if uh, files are deleted, it won't make a difference. The NAS will still maintain all of those files. Same goes in reverse for upload local changes only. Means that the folder on the NAS uh, will send data to the cloud. And even if you, uh, if you delete the files inside the NAS, the cloud will still maintain them. In this case, I'm going to go bi-directional or a mirror. And there you go, click confirm, and it's now synchronizing these two platforms. It's going to synchronize them there in the background, and changes that apply if files are uploaded on either side will be reflected on both platforms. As you can see, the synchronization is happening there in the background, and we can go ahead and um, create a new one if we choose. We can see if they're running in the background and alter them if we choose, and there's even a log there of files happening there in the background. And again, it's as straightforward as that. If we go into the photo station option there, we can start to see that some of the photos of NASs and more that are inside that album that we're just talking about are now starting to be carried over to the Terra Master NAS. And we're having that new automated system running to carry data over from the My Drive, from the photos or out the albums that we have chosen to copy over. It's that straightforward. But this has been how to migrate data over from your Google Drive and your Google Photos accounts onto a Terramaster NAS. Stay tuned, we're gonna be more stuff on this and hopefully there is a guide in the description to do this in a nice step-by-step -step basis. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Click like if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to learn more and I will see you next time.